Why did you send me that? Good morning. I don't really have an answer for you for that question. I guess because I was thinking about her and looking at a picture and remembering the good things about her and because I had been talking to you about her, I felt like sharing her picture with you. Some parts of me are really proud of what she used to be. Unfortunately, the other parts of me are really disappointed in the way she turned out. Anyway, on to a better subject. Do you do anything for Halloween like dress up and go to parties or decorate your house or anything? I don't. The only holiday that I do any decorating for is Christmas. I love Christmas. My brother Roy and my friend talked on the phone for the first time last night. They talked for two and a half hours. Roy called me after and told me that they went really well. My friend Sue texted me that it went well, but I fell asleep in the middle of texting her back. She'll tell me more about it today. I'm excited for the two of them, because I think they'll make a really good couple. And I think she can help Roy to straighten himself back out. Damn, I just seem to open a read up to you for some reason. <laughs> What's up with that? I'm sorry I sent you a picture. That might have been inappropriate. I don't like Christmas. It's my least favorite holiday. Can you delete my ID picture I sent you? I am worried now and I should not have sent that to a stranger. I kind of feel like I should explain something to you so you will understand why I needed to see your ID. A few years ago, someone catfished me under the pretense of being you. I had an over-the-phone relationship with her for almost a year before I found out she was not you. These people online that are obsessed with me have done some strange things just to have some type of contact with me so they could record me and put it on the internet. So you can believe me when I say that my worries about us talking is just as great as yours. Bah, you show me your ID and that helped me to be able to talk to you. I'm in a dilemma. I'm trying to figure out if I should build a new house on my land that I own now, or if I should sell this place and buy a house somewhere else. Yes, I can delete it. Please don't worry. Besides, if you would have not sent that, I would have been too skeptical to talk to you. For some strange reason, you don't feel like a stranger to me, and that may be because of the way we first met and the things I've gone through in the years since. I guess that will explain why I feel easy opening up to you. I don't want you to worry about anything with me. Over time, I'm hoping you'll realize that you can trust me. I'm afraid to ask you why you don't like Christmas, because I don't want to have to bring up anything that was bad that may have happened. So if you ever feel like you want to tell me, I'll leave it up to you. By the way, I just deleted your picture. Maybe in the future you'll trust me enough to send other pictures of you, I hope. Oh yeah, I should probably tell you that if I wanted to show you to anyone, I could have done it long before we started talking. I have you on the DVDs from when the show happened. They had to give me a copy for everything, so like I said, you have nothing to worry about about me. I have a question to ask you. You haven't kept any contact with anyone from Perverted Justice, have you? I don't know anyone from Perverted Justice on a personal level. I only volunteered for them a few times and donated to them. Your mouth would drop open at the information I have on them. You can let me know if you want to see it. That makes me feel so much better knowing that you don't have anything to do with them. I think they're actually the main people that are so obsessed with me online because they know I have a lot of information about them. Information about what? Want to send you the information I have on them? I can send some right now and then the rest tomorrow. It's information they have never wanted people to see. The information won't be in any specific order. I'll even send you information on the sting in Texas where the prosecutor killed himself. Sure, you can send me the information. Prepare yourself. Some of the stuff you're going to read will probably upset you, because it's not what you have expected. Wow, I can't believe that guy was a prosecutor and was still caught doing stuff like that. That is scary. I'm glad he's dead. It doesn't hurt my feelings that he's dead either, but at the same time we do live in the United States, and we have a constitution for a reason. There have been people that have been executed just to find out later that they were innocent. Wait until you continue to read through all the stuff I'm about to send you. Not everything is as it appeared, or was made to appear. He wasn't innocent though, so he deserved it. The next set is cute, so I'm waiting for it to send. Tell me when you've done reading what I sent to you, and if the next set hasn't sent by then, I'll resend it one at a time. 
I already read what you sent me. No, he definitely wasn't innocent. But, just like you see what the court says, he still had rights. And the way it all played out was not reap. You'll see more and more what I mean with the more you read. I'm going to have to send them one at a time, I think. He did have rights and he could have went to court, but he chose to kill himself instead of spending the rest of his life in prison because he knew what he did was going to ruin his life and career. I don't feel bad about anything that happened to him. I agree, and I don't feel bad for him either. Anyway, I don't want to debate it. He was a piece of shit, but those were things about the whole thing that was messed up.